All right, you guys, we are on our last day of this sew along. We have come such a long way. We have gone through the uh, little free workbook that I created just for this sew along. We have done most of this stuff. We just have one little thing to check off here. Today, we're gonna be going through the weekend um, checklist which is the longest of all the checklists. And that's because sewing the sleeve on this pattern is super labor intensive. Um, sleeves are hard anyways. And then this one has the zipper and then you have to attach it. There's some hand stitching. There's a lining that you're contending with. So there's a lot going on with the sleeve, but we're gonna tackle this slowly but diligently. And by the end of the weekend, you guys will have finished your moto jackets. Um, so without further ado, let's head to the work table, get started on this sleeve, check the chapters if you're coming back and forth on this video, um, so you can find out where you left off, um, cause it's kind of like a sew at your own pace weekend. All right. So let's knock out these sleeves. What do you say? Our first step is going to be to address these little, uh, corners here. We're going to reinforce them, which um, we did also in the welt pocket, it's very similar situation. So you are just going to go stitch, um, around this right angle here, pivoting at the small dot that you made. The small dots are always at the seam line. And for this pattern, this seam here is at our five eighths seam line, but this seam here is at a quarter inch. Um, and then, like I said, go to your machine, a regular stitch length um stitch around that corner and then while you are there we are also going to go ahead and stitch this long seam here um and you are putting one of 24 and one of 23 together so you do each of these in a single layer right and you just come down that quarter inch seam allowance for a few inches and then pivot at the small block and then repeat for the other three pieces. Okay, and then right sides together, one of the skinny ones gets combined with one of the fat ones. <laughs> And that seam allowance stops right in line with the cut edge of the little notched out part. All right, and while we're over here, we are gonna go ahead and ping up our machine to a ease stitch. And then we're gonna um, uh, ease stitch all around this cap, starting at the little uh, dots. And I like to do this with all my sleeves at a, uh, what would it be? Seven eighths and then three eighths so that all of the easing is done right at the seam line, that five eighths inch all through those two seam lines is um, eased in nice and flat. If you do it at the seam line, you run the risk of getting some puckers. So I just like to go an eighth of an inch beyond the seam line and an eighth of an inch within the seam line. Okay, and now that we're back at our table, we also need to clip through um, our seam allowance to those, um, to that little small dot, clipping to but not through our stitching. The little stay stitching that we did, clip to but not through that. So now you have a little bit of a diagonal cut there. And now I've laid this out exactly how they have it on the illustration to kind of help us all make sure we get this zipper done right the first time. We are going to place the closed zipper face down. So this stop here goes all the way up in here to our small circle. Mine is a little bit long as you can see. So I'm gonna zip this back to past the seam line or the hem line which our hemline for this jacket is one and a half inches at the sleeve. So right here, sort of at this little blue line. So I'm just gonna make sure that when I put my zipper stop 
uh, back here that my zipper pull is beyond that hemline because once we come down here, we're gonna stitch, 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 stitch all the way like this, and then we turn this back right at the hemline like this. So we're gonna get a beautiful finish. So I wanna point out, this is upside down. The zipper stop is toward the sleeve cap and the zipper opening is toward the hem. That way when we have our zippers, our sleeves on, we go like this and we unzip this way and zip it closed this way. Okay, so we need to stitch at, basically at a three, or I'm sorry, we place the zipper teeth at three eighths inch from this raw edge. That's the one eighth plus quarter inch seam allowance. So we have our zipper teeth just barely extending beyond the seam line. And then we're gonna stitch all along here with the zipper foot at the quarter inch seam allowance coming down at the hemline. Once you get there, turn this back like at a quarter of an inch, or I'm sorry, at a, uh, what is it called? 45 degree angle, like so, and then stop your stitching there. Okay, so we have everything in its right place. The zipper stop is here. We have turned back the zipper tape at the one and a half inch seam line, and we have stitched at a quarter of an inch. Now they want us to turn this back. Oh, that's gonna be so freaking cute. Okay, I'm getting excited. <laughs> this is all turned back like so, okay? Now they want us to turn this under a quarter of an inch and then place that on the zipper like so. Then pull this back and this is how it should go on. And stitching between the hemline and the zipper stop. All right, I'm gonna do one extra step that I didn't see in the instructions. Maybe I missed it, but um, similar to how we did with our welt pocket when we stitched across the little triangles, I have pulled out the seam allowances. I have pulled out that little, what would be like a trapezoid. I guess. What's the thing where it's like a, <laughs> that shape? <coughs> pulled that out as well, as well as a zipper tape beyond the stop and I'm just going to stitch across here and that is going to give us at the top of our zipper that nice clean finish. Okay so now we should have yeah a really pretty edge going across the top beyond the um, zipper stop. Got all these zipper terms and so when we unzip it stops at the stop and looks really pretty right? Super cool. All right, so here's what we've got. Obviously take this to your, what's it called, iron? <laughs> I'm having a hard time with words today. And um, you can press all this nice and flat. But there we have our sleeve zipper. How cute is she? I'm gonna try and make sure to get some of these puckers out, but for the most part, looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we're gonna move on to the lining. Okay, so. Everything that we've just done for the outer sleeve, we're repeating for the lining. So we are stitching here, pivoting at the small dot. We are sewing these right sides together all along this seam line. And then once we have that, we are going to, at our iron, turn, we're gonna clip to that uh, dot, then turn back the quarter inch seam allowance here and press it toward the inside of our lining pieces. Okay, so once you've got your lining sewn and pressed, you get this cute little window through here, like so. We are gonna be attaching the lining to the sleeve at the hemline. It's gonna be a beautiful hem, but that means we're gonna be hand stitching the sleeve cap. So just prepare yourself for more hand stitching. Before we go on to step 
68. I like to go ahead and pre-press my hems. Um, I think it just gives such a better crisp line. Obviously, it's more accurate. So I will come through here and just like we did for the jacket hem, if this hem is one and a half inches, we are going to mark at three inches and then press up to that line all the way along here. Same for here. Okay, so we've got our little crease there. Looks great. We're going to open it back out flat. We are going to place these right sides together. We are going to stitch this at half an inch seam line, obviously stopping and starting at this little opening, and then press that where the seam allowances are going toward the lining. And then we open this whole thing out, and that is how we are going to stitch our um, underarm seams together. So let me show you all of that step by step. I do want you to stitch these guys open. So the seam allowance for the zipper, stitch that flat. Okay, so now we have this situation, right? Don't unpress the pressing that you've already done um, for your hemline. It's gonna go end up going like this. You can repress this at this point if you want. Um, but the goal here is to take these two underarm seams with this and this entire length we are stitching at our Okay, so here's what we have at this point. Everything up top should be aligning perfectly. Your notches, everything should be the same shape. Otherwise you did something wrong. <laughs> Down here, gorgeous, right? Isn't she so cute? Um, and then this, not so pretty, but we're gonna make it pretty. So our next step is to slip stitch this little window around our zipper. And it's probably gonna be best to unzip it so you have two completely open situations. And then this would get tucked into the... So I'm gonna clip uh, probably about, I don't know, an inch, half an inch beyond the end there because all of this gets tucked in and turned into the him like so and we're just going to go in and we are going to slip stitch this down all the way through this little window um they are having us top stitch it as well And then once you have that done, they want you, again, you can do the top stitching through here if you want, but no matter if you're doing that or not, they are having you stitch down your hem. So we're stitching one inch from the raw edge all the way around here. And then this portion of our sleeve will be done. All right, and then this is what it will end up looking like. Unzipped, super cute. Zipped, also cute. And this dangles down. Okay, so we've got our sleeve, the main part of our jacket sleeve ease stitched through the cap. Now we need to do the lining separately because these things are gonna get attached to the jacket separately, which is a little bit annoying, but be really pretty when we're done. Okay, so for the lining only, pull this all the way out. They should be completely separate up top. Pull this out, do the same ease stitching um, from notch to notch that you did for the sleeve cap, and then also stay stitched through this little bottom edge from the single notch to the double notch. All right, now we have our gorgeous jackets and our gorgeous sleeves. <laughs> And we are going to be attaching the outer part of the sleeve, keeping the lining totally free. If you want, you can even just tuck this in really well. So I like to do jacket wrong side out. 
and sleeve right side out. And there is a right and wrong way to do this, similar to um, the side panels. Remember how there were like double notches and single notches? Same thing for sleeves. A double notch on this side. So this side of the sleeve is the back. So it goes in like this, where this side of the sleeve goes to the back and this side of the sleeve goes to the front. Stick her in like so. Now we do not have a side seam, okay? So the underarm seam gets matched up with that square that is a part of the side panel. Then as you come around, you should have notches and dots that match up all the way around. So I like to start through here, pin matching all of the symbols until the small dot. Okay, once I get to the small dot on the back, I'll turn it around and match all the symbols up to the small dot on the front. I will find the top of the sleeve, which is a big dot, which is right there, and I will pin her. And now we can really see what we're working with in terms of easing. So we've got to ease in all this and all of this, making sure to keep that notch in line with the shoulder seam. Okay, so pull up your ease stitches. Just grab onto them. And as you pull them, you can see little gathers are forming in this sleeve cap. Now, just like when we were doing our was it the lining and the collar and all of that? We don't care how wrinkly this is at the raw edge. All we care is what's happening between those two ease stitch lines. Okay, so just make sure it's nice and flat between those two things. You can use as many pins as you want. The more time you take here at this point before you get to your machine, the more likely you're gonna have success at the machine and not have any puckers that you have to um, re-stitch. Okay, moment of truth to see how we did. Pull your sleeve out. Say a prayer if you're into that sort of thing. And then we are going to check out our work. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, I did really good. Oh, that's just like, I need to go play the lottery today. Okay, so now that that is in, you can pull out your basting stitches from your jacket. And now it's time to work on the linings. Okay, so pull your lining up and over your sleeve cap like so. We're gonna go over to our iron. We are gonna press under the lining five eighths of an inch all the way around, and then it just gets slip stitched, matching up the seam line of the outer sleeve with the slip stitching that you're doing. So it gets pulled up and over. All of the notches and markings and everything still get matched up. So as you're slip stitching all the way around, um, you should be matching those up as well. All right, so put on a good movie. Once you get this done, um, your jacket is done. Your jacket is done. Once you get all of this slip stitching and hand sewing done, obviously repeat for the other sleeve. You guys, this is it. We have, we've made it to the end. I know, I know. I wanna show you, just to give you a little bit of motivation, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, I mean, she's freaking cute. Well, I hope you feel like a real baddie because you are, you sewed a moto jacket. What is cooler than that? Um, I hope you're in love with yours. I am in love with mine. I am teasing you a little bit. I'm not going to show you my finished jacket until I do the full pattern review like I normally do. Big reveal coming on Monday. In the meantime, you're going to spend this weekend 
either doing the weekend checklist or finishing up on any other days that you got behind on. And don't forget to check your daily checklist where we are on the very last day um, and doing lots of this, lots of celebrating. So I am so happy that you chose to participate um, in this so along with me. Hopefully you found it to be informative, educational, fun, exciting, all of that great kind of stuff. And then of course, at the end of all of this, you really love your jacket. Um, so like I said, I'll be back Monday with a full reveal of my jacket and a pattern review. So come back to see that. I am very proud of you and I hope you're proud of yourself. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.